why are we looking at this old stuff? Is the TV broken? Is it? Calm down, your beloved TV is fine. Hijos, today is very important. It's the day I teach Kevin how to clean la vajilla. La vajilla, our plates and silverware and other things that have been in our family for generations. Cool, can I touch them? No, you never touch la vajilla. These are important to our family legacy. We cherish and look after them, but never touch. Solo para limpiar! So, we just have these things to clean them? Yes. Our family has passed down powerful cleaning techniques that fight dust and dirt. And I will pass them to you, Kevin, as you have reached the age of responsibility. Wow, I can't wait to, uh, learn how to clean. Good, because if you don't take care of La Vajilla, you will bring doom to our family. Doom? Doom! Hello? Oh, yes, I am interested in changing my cellular plan. I have to take this. Don't touch anything. Sorry, I was teaching my grandson how to clean La Vajilla. Yes, I told him about the doom. Well, I guess it's not going to be a particularly interesting... <gasps> I don't... What are you doing? Kevin, relax. I just want to take a closer look. What if you drop it? I'm not going to drop it. I'm a superhero. My reflex... Kevin! <laughs> Doomed, Abuelita. You don't understand. It's the sugar bowl all over again. Sugar bowl? I grew up on my family's farm. My grandmother, Abuelita Julita, got a sugar bowl for her wedding. It was one of her most prized possessions. And one day, when I was five years old, Abuelita was cleaning it. She warned me not to touch anything, and I thought, what could be the harm? No! She wasn't kidding. The doom started right away. The choker ball was ruined, and the horses dragged my grandfather into the rock-filled desert. He was dragged to his death? No, the many cactuses protected him from the rocks. <laughs> but when the horse reached the ravine, he was thrown off a cliff. <gasps> to his death? No, not to his death. To a river filled with jagged, pointed rocks. And that's how he died? No, he was a very strong swimmer. Unfortunately, he didn't do so well with the giant waterfall. Surely that was the end no, of- No, but his fall was broken by a pond of piranhas! So he was eaten by piranhas? No, that is a made-up belief from movies. He simply waded out and set out for home across the treacherous jungle without supplies. Where he finally succumbed to thirst? No, he was actually quite close to home. Fifteen minute walk, maybe. He came back safe and sound. Abuelita, I don't understand. He was fine. Where was the doom? Two days later, we lost the farm because of a clerical accounting error. That's very sad, but... I'm not seeing the connection. My abuelita Julita never forgave me, and I knew it was my fault. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes when you can't do anything else, you just gotta laugh. <laughs> Why are we outside now? 